Last August, I did a podcast about the pros and cons of unschooling. And someone mentioned that I omitted all the positives that come for unschooling parents when they make this choice. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. We hear people sigh and say, oh, I could never do that. Or how do you have time to get anything done when you choose this way to parent or educate? Yes, unschooling is immersive. And you don't get the free babysitting that comes when you send your kids off to school for the better part of the day. But you learn how to live your life with these kids you've brought into the world. I get it. Most people have not had anyone show them how to live with kids in a way that prioritizes the relationship and the connection over just about everything else. Unschoolers know that the learning happens right alongside this full, rich life we get to have with the kids. So let's talk about the benefits that you're going to see as the parent in a household that's unschooling. I'm Sue Patterson, and this is the Unschooling Mom to Mom podcast. Back in the 90s, I decided that I could do at least as well as the school was doing. So I brought my kids home to learn. We tested the waters in a variety of ways and discovered that unschooling was the path we wanted to take. Sure, I had doubts. I had a lot of fears to undo. But now the kids are 33, 31, and 28. And they were totally prepared for adult life. I mean, as well as any of us are. But they got jobs, own homes, have families, all the typical things. Doors didn't close for them because they unschooled. In fact, so many more doors opened. I share a lot of the specifics, including how you can create this kind of life in your family through my membership and unschooling course and different guides that tackle specific obstacles you may be facing. I'll put links to these in the show notes because you have the resources to do this. You just have to take that next step and tap into them. So let's talk about those benefits for the parents who opt for unschooling. Ready? Number one, unschooling parents have more time. They control the pace of the day. Get up early, sleep in. It's whatever works for your family on that day. No more frantic rush to get out the door on time, regardless of how anyone feels. This slower pace can give you so much more time to connect and actually live the life you want to live. Number two, unschooling parents have more adventures. I'm not going to lie. Unschooling is fun for parents, too. We learn to enjoy our time with our families instead of most of our time together being about complying with school requests. We get to take trips during off season and explore the world together. Number three, I touched on it a minute ago, having schedules that fit your lives, but no prioritizing what the school wants to accomplish or working around their system requirements. This is about your calendar. It's full of what you and the kids want to do. Having the freedom to control your own calendar can enable you to move around during non-peak times for better rates or shorter lines, less crowds. Number four, unschooling parents have more information about their kids. They're around the kids more, so it's easier to notice more. And these observations help us know what our kids need. Tuning into your kids throughout the day allows you to have more opportunities to understand what's going on with your child and how you can help them, as opposed to only having time with them when they're worn out after a long day at school, or as you're rushing around all weekend to make sure it's a good experience or just to get things done. Number five, unschooling parents can create awesome childhoods for our kids. We may or may not have had these ourselves, but we can make sure our kids get to enjoy their childhood. Number six, unschooling parents can live at a slower pace. Imagine what that will be like to relax a little more, to tune into what your family members need instead of accommodating someone else. It's okay to have low energy and high energy days. We can really tune into what our bodies and minds need. It's such a perk to not have to rush around madly at the crack of dawn to get a sleepy kid off onto the bus or to school on time. Rushing around tends to make us bark orders and interferes in our ability to connect with the child. This slower pace allows us to help the kids see what's needed to get where they want to go without all that hurried stress. 
Number seven, I can't tell you how many times I've heard unschooling parents say they learned something they really enjoyed because their kid was interested in it. Whether we missed it in school ourselves or we stumble upon interesting facts about the world, parents have the chance to learn more too. It's a surprising bonus. Number eight, no more being the warden of the school or the enforcer trying to get the kids to do well in the system. Your family, you're not an extension of a system. And unschooling parents have the opportunity to learn more about how they want to parent in a more connection-based, relationship-focused way. Many of us have been convinced that our kids' behavior is a reflection of how good of a mother or father we are. And we can start to unpack all of that. Number nine, because then this will take you into the area of learning more about what you prefer. Maybe you've had to shelve that for a really long time. You might not even know what you need or like. You're going to have time to figure that out. Many unschooling parents discover new hobbies to explore and are able to model this for their own children. And number 10, we can end up stopping negative patterns that we may have picked up from our own parents. Society moves and parenting changes and unschooling gives us the opportunity to break some of those cycles that are often passed on without parents realizing it. Sometimes many of us have had childhoods that were traumatic This unschooling environment allows us to heal from these wounds and stop the negative cycles from being passed on from one generation to the next. So there you have it. 10 pros (laughs) for unschooling benefits for the parents. Did it leave you with some questions? You can leave them below in the comments or you can write to me at q for sue I'll leave the link for that. Um, in the show notes. If you're ready to dive into unschooling, I have two resources that'll help you get started. The Creating Confidence Membership Group and the Jumping Into Unschooling course. I'll leave links for those two. You know, unschooling success comes when you learn all you can about how it works and you get the support you need because we all bump into obstacles along the way. But it also requires that you take a little action. You can't just gather and gather resources without taking some steps to make it work. That's what all my resources are about, helping you have the confidence to actually take the steps to be successful at unschooling. You can do it. If I could, so can you. And you don't have to do it alone. Reach out and I can get you some support. Oh, and I'll be putting this podcast combined with the pros and cons from last year, kind of the part one episode into a YouTube video this week. If you prefer to watch this kind of a um, talk to, it's almost ready. If you subscribe and click that bell at the Unschooling Mom to Mom account, it will notify you when it's ready. So until next time, enjoy the kids, check out the resources, and we'll talk again next week.